it suddenly is a realm of, of myth, of legend, of, of heroes, of adventures. When men were to take up arms, the predominant object was the sword. It's hard to turn on the television and go to the cinema, it seems, without uh, still being surrounded by swords. working with Bob Anderson as my sword master. You know, he used to train uh, Errol Flynn. Oh, and he was, he was Darth Vader doing all the, the lightsaber work. Oh, Darth Vader, yeah. It's just a clunk and a helmet that I was underneath it all. As a designer, you can draw hundreds of designs that you love. You know, it's all those dreams that you really can't have anymore because you've grown up. The truth of the sword has been shrouded in antiquity and the Renaissance martial arts that brought it into being are long forgotten. I'm sure that a lot of historians still find it a kind of, not a proper subject. So we have a, essentially a break in the history of the sword in the Western world. The one-on-one -on -one dueling spirit of the sword could not prevail under the shadow of automatic machine gun fire. I don't like just reading about it and putting a book on the shelf, I want to do it. Literally tens of thousands of hammer blows have to be right. You can almost read the movements like you read music. So that all of a sudden becomes like a direct link back to that time. 